to see everybody here. I am very happy to see everybody here. Arranged management was done. There's no arranged management, even in India. There's only arranged marriages. Looking for a job in overseas. You, the in there is redundant. You do not need to use in. Looking for a job overseas should suffice. <coughs> Now, some incorrect usage of plurals. This I have heard repeatedly in our Toastmasters chapter meetings. Sometimes <coughs> we have a tendency to use plurals where it is not required. Toastmasters of the day. <coughs> Rahul, do you have an alter ego? No. So there's only one Rahul and only one Toastmaster of the day. Into this projects, no. You have to say project because there's only one project. This project is a singular, so you have to say this project. In terms of organizations, I think this was in reference to Michi speech organization. That in itself is a singular. You have to say in terms of organization, Michi did an excellent job. You are a very confident speaker, especially because you are using a very confident, it has to be speaker and not speakers. Clichés, auto clichés. Clichés are usually words or phrases or usage of English language that has been used so many times repeatedly that it has lost all meaning. It has lost all power. We have to try and cut out clichés from our speeches to make it more powerful. So some of the clichés that I heard are, table topics are nothing but. You don't have to say nothing but. Table topics are, right? Last but not least. First and foremost, all these are not necessary. We can do that by saying the next speaker is, or in conclusion, or instead of first and foremost, firstly, let me do this. So is that a Toastmaster Club recommendation or it is your recommendation? It is a cliche. It is known no, as a cliche. Last but least, least is continuously used wherever you go. It should not be used as well as possible. It doesn't add any value to your speech. So is it your recommendation or is uh, coming from where? That's what I'm trying to find out. Better linguists than me have acknowledged that these are cliches. Okay. Yeah, these are all learned. So I, I wouldn't have known this myself hadn't I joined Toastmasters and learned from uh, you know, very, very, exp well, how do you say that? <coughs> Expert language value it is. Yes. Weak use of the language. In a sense, your speech will be more powerful. That in a sense there is again redundant and it actually weakens the usage of it will make your speech more powerful. You just have to say your organization, your speech organization would make your speech more powerful or your vocal variety will make your speech more powerful or your presentation will make your speech more powerful. It doesn't have to be preceded by in a sense. Basically, it is one of the things in life. It is either one of the things in life or it is not one of the things in life. It cannot be basically one of the things in life unless it is really basic to your life. Right? Now, some other things. Shooting your speeches. The flip only records. It doesn't shoot. You can shoot with a gun, but you can't shoot. I don't know, can you shoot with a flip? I'm not sure. Next question, not this question. <laughs> <laughs> Got himself into a limelight. Now this boy who ran 12 kilometers, <coughs> he didn't get himself into a limelight, he got himself into limelight. For Alan, you took six minutes. Now for Alan, is not required there. Alan took six minutes and something seconds. For Alan, you took six minutes. For Prabin, you took. So that's not required. You just have to say Alan took six minutes. Adam took five minutes. Dan took two minutes and so on. I heard this apart from that, apart from that, apart from that, from one speaker at least four times within a two minute speech. Now, unless you really think that you are about to conclude your speech. You don't really have to say apart from that. That again is redundant use 
of the phrase apart from that. So please make sure that you have the right words at the right time. Now thanks Mr. Toastmaster of the day. You either say thanks Mr. Toastmaster or thank you Toastmaster of the day, right? Guy and boy meet together. I don't know if, sorry I shouldn't be commenting on this, sorry. There is responsibility in the back end. I don't know what that really meant, but I believe that you meant, this was in commitment, right? Was it commitment? Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of responsibility when one person commits to the other. I think that's what you meant. So there's no responsibility in the back end. That does not make much sense. That's all I had from a language violation standpoint. I learned a lot today. I hope you did as well. Thank you very much. Yes.